Oh, come back, ignore the yowling cat in the background. Episode something or other, I don't remember because I didn't count. Uh, and I'm starting to get a layout for our mostly one floor Corvette slash Scout craft. I have added some extra fuel. I have finally put in some oxygen tanks. Uh, these guys here are more fuel, though it's not... No, they're just sequestered. You don't really need to know. How yourself, cat. So, uh, sometimes he just does this. I would like... Hey, you're interrupting, which has been happening a lot lately. Uh, I'd like to know what's going on inside that cat's head. Anyways, uh, ventilation. Uh, we got insufficient engines still. I did get a couple more, so I'll put those down. I need somewhere to put uh, a con uh, constructor. At least a, a, not an advanced one, but something. Uh, let's see, oxygen tanks, what else? What else, what else? We got a lounge, we've got tables. Hey look, the tables are finally starting to render correctly. Not everything has been. Uh, we got a, hey! Seriously, what is your dissertation? Hmm? All right, so bathrooms. I don't remember if we did this last time, but you can pass through. Uh, this is shower. There's toilet for such a small crew. Two is already quite a luxury. <coughs> Excuse me while I cough in your faces. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep working on this. And then I'm going to show you real quick the final result. At least not the final, but the usable result, and then we'll go on a quick jaunt. How's that sound? All right, all right, all right. So let's see. I'm not entirely sure about what's going on up front. I think these might be some lights or beacons, but let's take a look. We've got, I haven't finished everything, but we got a couple of basically storage rooms. So there'll be ammo and cargo and armor and maybe more accessible versions of the oxygen system, because uh, I got these. I guess they're accessible, but... Uh, let's see, two construction plants, more engines, uh, more... F Ooh, excuse me, more fuel. Turns out you can only have one fuel for these, so I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with that. Uh, beds, four bunks, so up to eight people, so we have room for crew and guests plus immediate uh, access to oxygen, which ought probably to be in the storage area. You know, if you're gonna come here for armor anyways, you might as well come for oxygen. But if I do that, what will be in here? Maybe just a solid wall and more uh, inner oxygen tanks or something. You got a kitchen, D doesn't look like much yet. Same thing on this side, equal access. We got some dining areas. I extended the windows. We still got bathrooms that have access to the engine areas. We've got a ramp to get access to all the engines for, you know, the engineer. Let's see, we got, what do we have under here? We still have walkable access to everything, but I also want to compound this with thick, multiple layers of armor, because that is going to be a target for anybody, especially anybody pursuing us. I mean, as it is, Look at that, one layer between me and the the uh, warp fuel doesn't seem quite right yet. That's why I'm uncertain about it. However, I'm not sure I want it exposed to the crew either. I, maybe maybe the fuel tank itself doesn't emit radiation. I'm, uh, actually, I'm gonna assume that's the case. Yank that out, put it somewhere else, just not sure where yet. Since I can't have two, it can't be in a side room because then there's no symmetry. Symmetry is very important. Actually, you know, unless you're operating in a warp bubble and you don't use thrusters anyways, symmetry matters to ships because if you're thrusting along the actual axis of, um, or axes, you know, center of gravity, it, the calculations and the amount of work and the amount of placement of thrust, a lot simpler. But if you, if you're completely amorphous, man, Finding that center of gravity is hard, and you know what I mean. I have to imagine that, you know, if you have a lot of crew, actually, the mass of the crews moving around might actually require 
a computer just to re-recalculate by re, re I mean over and over again. Calculate the placement of the center of gravity so that thrusters can make micro adjustments so that you're not veering off course just because people are walking around. Anyways, um, definitely not done yet, but I'm gonna start putting the skin over the top because I think the rest I can do from a personal level. So I'm gonna put the top on, seal this up. There's going to be a spine uh, in part here, so that folks down here can look straight up at least a little bit. But the rest of it is just an armored spine that will protect all this business down at this end. So here, here's an example of what I'm talking about. There's an RCS in that corner. And each one of these looks slightly un, unrendered. These are RCS there. Right, right. Anyway, so I'm going to take a quick walk through. Uh, I'm not done yet. There's the computer. You can see the halls, not quite done. Storage, not quite done. Storage, not quite done. So you're saying, why are you showing me this one? Because I want to, damn it. I need minutes. All right, so I'm not sure about this, but this room has a ceiling now. It has a vaunted vaulted ceiling off into the rest room which yes i understand will need some doors don't worry about it i'm telling you don't worry about it don't worry about it now uh, let's see on the other side same similar situation just different room and what's up here i forget oh i just showed it to you haha <laughs> all right i have a ship wait no the back hatch isn't isn't done yet. I need to figure out the back hatch. But let's take a quick run through while there's still daylight. So I got a basic armor texture on the outside. I extended some like guard rims so this guy can, you know, back in and out. Uh, I gotta experiment to see if it can get over the ramp, by the way. The ramp maybe should come down from this roof. I wonder. Anyways, uh, yeah, armor. Blue. Oh, oh. There we go. Uh, blue. Oh, ignore the colors. The colors are temporary. We got medical stuff. We got a medical lab, quarantine room. We got furniture to put back in, come to think of it. Green for residential type stuff. Dark blue, whatever this is, for sanitation. That uh, needs more doors. Red for sort of semi-risky in um, operations. This is more, the brown is sort of command and utilitarian. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a thing. I'm going to look at that real quick. Purple for engines. Oh, look, and they're even running. I don't remember turning you on. Um, let's see. Now, I found a thing, which is really neat. So I'm going to take this apart for a second so you can see. All right. Check this out. Oh, you can't see it. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Uh, L. There we go. Check this out. Casper or Caspar Core Geherin Industries. Do you guys know who Geherin is? Hmm? Do you know anything about this? That is a um, oh, Evangelion reference right there. It goes back to some classic, not like super old, but classic um, anime. So let's see, the lab, I've got some storage containers finally. I still don't have anywhere for ammo. I haven't decided at all if... Um, this thing's going to have weapons. I mean, it probably should. But I'm not... That's not its first purpose. Textures are questionable. But hey, let's play with them real quick. So what do we find... Acceptable about... Let's see. This color is the middle brown. The one I'm using here, right there. So let's configure. Which H... Ooh. See? The whole thing changes all at once. So that's pretty cool. I can think better in RGB though. So let's tone down the red. Ugh. Let's tone it all down to 
kind of a gray saturation, very low saturation. V, okay. All right, so resaturate slightly. Not a terrible color. But okay, uh, sure, copy. Okay, okay, and then we'll go to this one, which is the lighter color. Do the same, configure, paste. Same color now, but let's make it a little bit richer color. What's H? What does H have to do with anything? Oh, is that just cycling through the colors? Okay, all right, so V, make it brighter, make it richer. Okay, so now all such places on the ship should be the same. Okay, good. See the two-tone, but it's not super contrasty. This is another super offensive room, so let's do this one, purple. The dark is on the ground here, so let's configure that. Take out the saturation. Oh, wait. Oh, yes, it's the bottom. I forgot. Uh, we do want it to be a... Let's get our saturation back real quick. We do want it to be a color that suggests an unusual kind of danger. V. Let's brighten it up a little bit. Tone this down a little bit. Copy. Okay. And then this one figure paste make it richer and hmm, darker and tone this up a bit we're right back into brown how did I get there Ooh, okay saturate desaturate okay gray pretty gray and boom all right, all right, all right. Okay, we've got some retractable turrets. Uh, longer range, heavier duty, one pointing front, and heavy mini gun thingy pointing backwards. Nothing pointing down at this point. I don't know if I have the room, but this isn't really supposed to be a warship anyways. Um, so there is the ship. It's not finished, but it is functionally finished, which means I can use it for a mission or exploration. And as I get used to it, I will make tweaks. And when I am satisfied, I have a Mark I, I will publish it and begin working on stage two. But for now, uh, let's go flying. Here we go. Let's board this thing. Hope I'm still able to fit in through here with the ramp where it is. Yep, I am. Okay, good. Is it gonna attach? Is it gonna attach? I put a thing on for attaching. Come on. What happens if I turn the power off? Nothing? All right, we need to make sure this will work because I don't, can't have the ship doing what it did last time. Which was something crazy, I can tell you. Seven, let's, um, I don't know. Uh, push. Should be fine. Push, push. That should just be fine the way it is. Apparently not, right? And let's make keep it light and springy. Where are you? No, that's not it. Light and springy, right? Uh, wait, ah, okay. And like so. And where'd you go? This is for what is ultimately a temporary design. I'm putting a lot of work into it. <laughs> All right, can we go down? Boom. Yeah, that is the sound I was looking for. Oh, man, it's still such a dark ship. 
Let's take a nap. Okay. Good morning, good morning. We go for the ride. I believe I have everything I need. Actually, you know what? Devices. Boop, boop, boop. Yep. Uh, turret. Oh, I forgot they're two sentry guns. Did you guys see those? So the cannon that points out front. Bases, capital, small, hover. Let's not worry about those things. Uh, drones. Yeah, we'll just... Uh, do not take out warp drives. Do take out uh, things. Do not take out thrusters. Mm, go ahead and take out generator. No, yes. Gosh, this is all backwards. Leave the thrusters. Kill the generators. And the same thing on the back. Um, no aliens, actually. Boom, boom, boom. And leave the thrusters... Gen yeah, leave the thrusters and warp drive intact if you can ha uh, help it. All right, okay, so... Shall we engage? Oof. And uh, actually, for appearances... Let's... Um, twain off. Check it out. Oh yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's find this lava planet. What have we? We have the minefield. We still have a pretty, pretty maneuverable ship, even after all the uh, mass we've added. All right. Let us see all the things I found, which did not include any of the, the thing I was looking for, by the way. Uh, maps. Veni or Matera. Okay, I don't know. Neither of those look like anything. Eudaria. Veni. Matera. Let's go. Well, Lava Planet's probably going to be closer to the star, right? So, how do we go? Uh, we... Cobalt. Space Drone. Oh, yeah, I should try taking out a Space Drone at some point. It looked to me like that might have been up there. What am I doing wrong? Uh, lock. Okay. And, yeah, I was correct. 12 AU, greater than one year. You need to fly faster to activate warp jump. Boom. The sky blinked. There was a wormhole. And time passed. Oh, and we're in a new place, which is really bizarre because the nebulae here are completely different, which is not accurate. <laughs> the The scale of nebulae is so immense that um, you, any one solar system, would see exact, almost precisely the same view from one end of the uh, solar system to the other. So uh, a little inaccurate. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we just discovered something else. Does it not tell us what type planet info? Oh, okay, okay, cool. Scorton Desert. Tau Station? Neat. That's neat. I haven't heard of that. Mathera is barren. Okay. Venny? Snow. Hmm. So no lava planets just yet. Let's take a look at uh, this plot. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Oh, I see it down in the corner. Whoa. All right, go and go. Okay. I'm here, but I see nothing. Is that where I just came from? Uh, my fuel's doing okay. I don't know about my warp fuel, though. Oof, that's a lot of planets. Look at them all. What do we got? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, what's the keystroke for this one up here? So, right back to Veni again. 
and no station. Well, not necessarily no station, just where is it? Is it a big station? Shouldn't it show up against the background here? Hmm. All right. Well, I have returned uh, here just on the off chance, hopefully, of finding some pentaxid because I need to fuel up. I can get home in the, my next jump if this proves fruitless because I know I can find pentaxid there. But yeah, I'm going to try here and then maybe go for Scorton after that. <laughs> All right, okay. The ship is... Oof. Oriented funny. Gravity is pointing the wrong way. Ooh, here we go. Wing. Oh, Xyrax territory. Excellent. Could we not start in hostile... Well, actually, Xyrax are no longer hostile to me. They became unfriendly on their own recently. So perhaps I don't have to worry about that right now. Maybe I can just worry about finding fuel. Let's try this and see what we can find. I only just realized I'm not getting any oxygen here. I, I'm being forced to use my own. So I'll have to re-examine the design soon. Ooh, ooh. Who, whose radiation is this? Oof. All right, let's go on in, find out what's going on. Please register. Hello. 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 Weapons and commodities. Let's see. Uh, canned vegetables. Hunger is not really a problem right now. Let's see. Biofuel. Emergency O2. Oscana. She's got nothing I can use. Ooh, I got meat on me, though. I should probably put that away. Anybody else? Uh, let's see. Who are you? Do you do anything? Jetpack, mobility, radiation. It's really radioactive outside. I was surprised. Uh, otherwise, I got all that stuff. Uh, you? No? Are you? Wait. No, you're a civilian. Uh, no. Is that all there is? Looks like we have a pair of drones. Okay. Oh, crashed ship. Neat. Uh, what I can't tell is if they're hostile. Like, like I said, the Xyrax are now merely unfriendly. So it might be I'll be left alone. Neodymium. Neat. I don't think I've been able to find that easily. That's good to know. Here's some more. What was that red patch? Oh. Eh, I still don't know what that red patch is. Neodymium. So let's see. I did not get attacked by those things, but I don't. CRX colony. All right, we've, we explored you. I'm going to go this way now. Destroyed mining towers. That's cool. Weapon bunker is not shooting at me, notably. Old tank station. Holy cow, what was this? It just bounced off a mountain right in front of me. What are you? Rados patrol vessel. Gosh, I suppose it's... Just as well you're not hostile right now. And, oh! You are, in fact, hostile. Alright, let's get out of the way. Maybe being unfriendly just means reduced range, or certain ones are still extra aggressive? I don't know. Isn't that a nice sunrise? Alright, never mind that. Circumvented... Circumvented... Chicken... Aided the world and didn't really see anything other than Sathium and Neodymium, which are, I'm sure, interesting on their own, but I really wanted to find another kind of fuel. So I'm going to head to Yedav. Weep. I cannot go? Seriously? I cannot? But I can go here. And what's that, Scorton? 
let's type space, copper, silicon, asteroids. Uh, I didn't see any asteroids here. Desert, planet size 4, gravity 0.82, temperature. Pretty hot, pretty cold. Radiation, not bad. Difficulty, 3. What was this place? 4. Hmm. Breathable? Wait. These are breathable? Wow. Okay. Never mind that. I need 7 pentaxid to warp, and I have 4. Which means... My salvation is down there somewhere. Okay. Oh, is that another DSC ship part? Looks like a ruin to me. I don't know if it'll have been taxed, but there's got to be at least three units somewhere on this stupid planet. Total, you know? And here we go. Let's settle in and find out what we can. Oof. Get a little closer. Actually, let's turn this boat around so my hatch faces the target. Boom. Turn off the thrusters. Turn on the defenses. Very good. Alright. We'll make exploring part of next episode. So, thanks for watching and come again or else.